All right, I masked the door jam off. I'll stuff something in that hole and that hole before I start spraying. It looks like it just got to have a little tape here and there. I'm out of uh, paper, so I'm just using some newspaper. And uh, I'll get some paint mixed up. I think it's about 62 hour right now, so I think I'm just going to crank the car up and back it out of the garage to shoot this. Save covering everything up in the garage to keep overspray off of everything. And uh, seeing we got a beautiful February day, it's going to get sprayed outdoors. There's no bugs, nothing in the air that's going to get in it, so it'll be fine. Um, in the spring or fall when the bugs are rampant, yeah, you want to paint indoors then. So, anyway, we'll get to moving here on it. Alright, well, I got the first coat on. And it looks like a really good match. And uh, I'm going to let it tack until it feels like masking tape stickiness before I put another coat on it. But it does look like a good match. You can see I stopped spraying probably right about there. And uh, it looks pretty darn good. All right, I put the final coat on with uh, acrylic enamel. I put three coats on. I put a tack coat on, and then I'll put a second coat on, and I let it dry to the consistency of about where when you touch the paint like here, it feels like masking tape, the sticky side. And then I'll put the second coat on, and I'll let it dry until about the same point. And then I'll put the final coat on, and usually the final coat on, I just put in just a smidge heavier you don't want to get runs and that way you don't get any orange peel and you don't have to buff it i'm not a big fan of buffing and i'm not a big fan of sanding so the less more work i can save myself the better but anyway that is the final coat and i pulled the tape off right there and it looks like a really good match um, so i think i'll call them up and have them mix a gallon and we get some more good weather I can get the body painted and the trunk pan painted and just keep moving along on the car. This is my HVLP gun that I've been using. I have a regular door jam gun. I spray it 40 psi. I have a air dryer that I kind of made and put together to I use that with my bead blast cabinet too, and that's set at 60 PSI. So this is air compressor pressure. That's regulated pressure. You usually get a little more, the higher the pressure, you get a little more moisture. This is just to get all the moisture out of the air so you don't get it in your paint. So I reduce it to 60 out to the car and then 40 at the car. And I have a air dryer on the compressor also. So I have three air dryers in line and the reason why I run 60 of the gun is so for sure I'm getting 40 out of the nozzle. Well I don't think it's going to get any better of a match than that. There's a little little bit you can see where the that's the paint line and I'll just rub that out with my finger with some rubbing compound once the paint's dry and you won't see that but it came out pretty good and I don't think you're going to be able to ask for any better match than that that's a pretty darn good match so I let that dry two or three days so I can mask on that to paint this out here and I don't want to pull that up when I mask it so that's why I let it let it dry before I uh, mask anything in the door jam. I'll leave the door open for a few days too. I have the battery disconnected right now so the dome light doesn't stay on. But it's 64 degrees out so I'm just going to leave the car outside to dry. The air circulation will help evaporate the reducers quicker and dry it a little quicker. But yeah, it looks, I'm happy it looks good. I guess the thing with doing the brush touch-ups with metallic, you get too much metallic. It doesn't flow out right, so I'm going to... It looks like with the paint matches close enough to where I'll bump that, fix it, paint it properly. And the same with the hood. I'll fix that properly. And 
paint that spot too. I think the paint will match good enough from the looks of the door jam. It looks pretty darn good. I just decided to add a little video of the car. I'm just so tickled at the way it's coming along. Opened up the windows, kind of let the interior air out, sitting out here in the sun. Hey, see, I still have the Christmas lights up in the tree. I might take them down today or tomorrow, seeing it's nice out. But look at that. That came out really nice. And it's really actually a pretty darn good match. It's a little more, a little maybe a tad more metallic, but that could have been how I had it reduced and sprayed it with metallics. You can reduce them differently and get a little different shades. But yeah, it turned out pretty darn nice. It's going to look good.